Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Alex Lee, the CEO of Shells. And then uh, I'll be joined by Zlatan uh, Todorich, our VP of Tech, for the, uh, the Q&A after, after my presentation. So, you know, thanks, thanks for having me here. I want to thank the whole OpenSUSE team for, for having us. And, uh, and I'll talk a little bit about Shells. So, you know, just in a nutshell, you know, Shells is essentially, you know, we, it's a virtual desktop where we converge all devices into the cloud. And, and uh, you know, one of the cool things is it, with Shells, you can access it from any web enabled device. So, you know, as long as you have access to a browser or our desktop and mobile apps, you can essentially have your virtual computer on, on any device. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys uh, saw last month we had announced our, our partnership with OpenSUSE. Um, we do offer uh, multiple versions of OpenSUSE on our platform. And, uh, you know, one of the cool things that I always like to mention about our product is that, you know, in less than five minutes, you can really have a virtual desktop up and running, uh, which is definitely, you know, a, a, a thing that I like to, I guess I'll say, brag about, so about our product. So sometimes, you know, I get this question a lot. It's like, you know, Alex, why, you know, what do you think about the virtual desktop? And, and you know, I always say, hey, you know, I, I really love the virtual desktop for, for a few reasons here. And as you can see here, first of all, obviously the opportunity to give developers a, a flexible option to, to really like test and deploy all from one device. You know, that's, that's something that's definitely feasible with shells. Um, obviously taking advantage of cloud technology, you know, the automatic backups, the great bandwidth speeds, and then, you know, the ability to just instantaneously upgrade, right? If you're, if you're at four gigs of RAM, you need, you need a little bit more, literally it's, it's a couple of clicks and, and, and your machine will be updated. So, um, you know, with, with technology advancements, it's, it's really helped out with the virtual desktop, right? The virtual desktop is nothing new, but you know, with improved internet speeds, the, you know, 5G mobile networks, uh, browsers with HTML5 and JavaScript, like it's really become, um, you know, the perfect time to, to take advantage of, of virtual desktop technology. Uh, also, you know, there's, there's other benefits with the virtual desktop where if you have the homes where, you know, they lack a computer, or they lack that desktop experience, Obviously, uh, the virtual desktop is a nice alternative to really convert any of those devices um, to, to give, whether it's a student or, or just, you know, other family members access to a desktop computer. It's, it's something that's possible. And then finally, just, you know, we, we, we love how, you know, we can make Floss more accessible to wider audiences. Like, and I'll touch on it a little bit more, but, you know, we do offer... I think over 20 operating systems right now, right? And the majority of them being uh, Linux, different Linux distributions. So you can see it on the next slide where we had announced, like I mentioned, our partnership with OpenSUSE. We've also been uh, uh, partnering with Manjaro, Linux Mint, MX Linux, as well as KDE. And then we're, we're also working closely with... Um, these other distros, Zorin, Nitrix, Endless, you know, Kali is, is coming out soon, Gnome, Deep, and uh, Fedora, Debian Elementary, as, as well as Ubuntu Mate. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been a great experience working with each of these distros and, and being able to make sure that, you know, that whatever we put out there, that, that our partners, you know, they can stand behind and feel comfortable with. And at the end, they're the experts too. So, um, you know, having their having them behind us on this has been been great for our journey. So, you know, we do own all of our own hardware right now. You know, we're we're small, we're growing, but we're in six different data centers or six different locations. Our data centers and 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 we do own all of our own hardware. Uh, we've we've open sourced some of our scripts and and we'll continue to release more as we go along and. And uh, like I mentioned with the servers, obviously as we grow, we'll, we'll add on there. But you know, it's it's been great working with the community on this one for sure. As 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 we try to make a better product and a product that.
that is uh, right for our community as well. And just to touch a little bit about the shells technology. So, you know, we, we use the SPICE protocol. Um, you know, our, our network, like I mentioned before, we, we, we own the hardware. It's, it's, it's set up to be built for, as I call it, like plug and play, you know? So as we grow, you know, adding servers on, we've, we've done a good job of being able to, to, to scale, I guess, quickly. Um, like I mentioned about the open source images, uh, the open source uh, image build scripts. And then um, finally, one of the cool little things is that, you know, we do offer this option of, uh, you know, custom images where you can build, run and share your own images. So this is something that we're really excited about that we're continuing to evolve and enhance and, and definitely something that uh, I'm looking forward to, so. Uh, finally, in terms of uh, privacy standards, you know, we're, we're no different than the other cloud providers like, like Dropbox and DigitalOcean, you know, we're following and, and making sure we have uh, similar policies, practices, and, and always looking to improve, obviously, because this is definitely an important thing for us to make sure that, that our users feel uh, private, you know, have their privacy as well as their security, so. So I mentioned about the virtual desktop solution. Um, you know, one of the things that we really don't publicize at all, but you know, shells can be used as, as uh, running you know, your own VPS. So that, that's another viable option. And then we have this other thing in the works where we're still working with, but um, you know, we do have an Android OS option and, and we, we're looking at creating basically like a, like a virtual phone. So, where you know you would provision like a voice over IP to your Android OS shell and literally be able to take and receive or uh, make and receive phone calls. So uh, another interesting thing that we're working on in the background. And lastly, I just wanted to show you know high level roadmap, you know where we've been, where we're going, that type of thing. So I've been talking about our partnerships. We we've been working with. Um, a couple schools in terms of pilots and and really giving uh, students an opportunity because you know with everything going on with uh, coronavirus and and so on right everyone's getting their own computers but there's no doubt you have schools where um, you literally I, I walked into a classroom and you have uh, you know 20 students with five or six different computers Chromebooks uh, HPs you know it's it's kind of interesting and and hopefully you know with shells we can help you know, uh, give everyone the same environment to work from is, is really the objective there. Um, you know, Windows, lic Windows licensing, that was another big thing that we just completed. So, you know, it's, a, it's another nice option that if you really need to use a Windows machine, you know, on quickly or on the side, it's, it's something that you can spin up quickly. Um, and then moving forward, we're gonna continue to enhance our, our offerings. Uh, USB webcam, um, improving the UI UX on, on the apps. Uh, we talked about the VPS and phone solutions. Um, enterprise seems to be one that, that is growing. It's, it's something that we haven't really focused on yet, but a lot of businesses have approached us um, you know, to, to try to see if uh, we can work with them on, on a solution. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's what we're looking at right now, you know, looking forward to the future. Um, and, and like I mentioned earlier, it's, uh, I've been really happy and, and loved working with, with the community on this one. And, and uh, you know, we hope to continue to work together and see, see uh, you know, how we can make Shells a better product and, and make a Shells, Shells a better product for, for everyone, I guess, so. So again, I want to thank the everyone on the OpenSUSE team and uh, I know a pretty short presentation, uh, but uh, definitely I wanted to get over to the Q&A and um, Zlatan will join me there and um, yeah, go ahead and meet me over there. Thank you. <laughs>